I want to raise a very serious issue, another serious issue of women's health. This week the NHS put a pause on the issuing of the uh, vaginal mesh. Now it's not obviously, uh, it's a very personal subject for women who suffer from urinary incontinence and pelvic organ collapse, um, but it is causing major harm to hundreds of women in this country and is being used on a daily basis. I just want to quickly quote Professor Carl Hennigan of the Oxford Centre for Medical Based uh, Medicine. Many women have been subjected to great harm because regulatory loopholes allowed mesh devices to be made available in large numbers with no human evidence. We now know that women who receive mesh implants are part of a global experiment that in many cases has gone badly wrong. And I personally know, and other deputies do, of women who have been bound to wheelchairs, who are now uh, uh, going around on crutches because of the use of this, and we have no uh, scanning mechanism for them in this country. They are paying huge money to get treatment in Britain, €1,500 uh, euro for an operation to remove some of the mesh. It's a complete failure. It hasn't been tested on human beings, and I'm calling on this government to do what the NHS has done and put a pause on the use of this mesh ASAP. With respect, I'll have to get the, um, the Minister for Health to come back to both of you on that, but I'll do Thank that. Thank you very today. much, Tony. Deputy Maddie McGrath. Deputy